Take seven. This is actually take seven. Hey guys, welcome back to Headphone Guy 96. This is Ben, and did my light just die? Did, did, did my light just literally die? Didn't know battery life was that bad. This week we're going to be talking about my experiences with the DJI Phantom 4. And I purchased this product because I wanted to get into a little more aerial photography and videography. And at the time, this was essentially what I would call the best option for drone on the market. And I'll, t I'll get into more or less the reasons I think why that is at the end, but I'll also talk about you know, sort of like uh, the the future upgrades from that previous version, you know, a year going a year back, essentially up to now, there are many more options and the drone industry is kind of going in a, in a different direction than I thought it would necessarily go. But to start off this talk, I just want to say a few things about the experience of owning the drone, taking it out of the box and using it on a daily basis. So, which I don't usually do I don't I don't use this thing all the time um, and I'll, I'll get into more of that in a second I know I keep saying this a lot but you know so taking out of the box unboxing it is a really clean experience you get a battery you get two sets of wings you get the drone itself a gimbal guard and you get the radio controller which is pretty hefty this is one of the things I don't like too much about the drone itself and just bringing that thing around lugging it everywhere is my main con with this piece of equipment and I thought getting a backpack would make that easier it it, it certainly did not actually make things worse the styrofoam like meat box people might call it, that you get with it out of the box is probably the best thing you can travel with for this drone just just hands down and the reason that is is because it's very compact. It will fit on an airplane real easy. The backpacks made by DJI, the hard plastic shell in the front gets nicked up by everything. It looks terrible, cracks easy, and it's just, it, it, it's a pain to work with. So I, I, I don't really recommend it. And putting that con aside and the controller aside, I would say the, the great things about this, back when it came out, it was essentially just a improvement over the Phantom 3 Professional, and it shoots 4K. The sensor in it, I don't wanna say it's, you know, a, a super upgraded version of what was in the Professional at the time, but it's, it's slightly better. The image quality is a little bit crisper. I think the sensor is probably slightly different, even though that may not be detailed in the specifications for the item. I didn't like the Phantom 3, because I didn't want to spin the propellers on to lock them in. I was afraid they were gonna fall off. The clicking mechanism is much better on the Phantom 4. And essentially, it's just that it's, it was a pleasure to use, and it was the best experience I could possibly get a year ago. Now, that's changed up until recently now. I'll, I'll get to the customer service aspect of DJI as a last piece, but the, the drone industry is going in a little bit of a different direction than I originally thought it would. It's, and, and that's, and now I kind of understand a little bit more because I've had a Phantom 4, and the main problems are, well, this controller is huge, and this drone is huge. How am I supposed to take that with me everywhere and like make it easy and portable and, and want to use this equipment? And so the Mavic that came out recently is essentially a Phantom 4 in a, in a much tinier package. It has the same sensor. It's essentially a little bit better in terms of stabilization with the, with the motors. And it appears from, from videos I've seen to stabilize better with wind resistance than the Phantom 4 did, which is impressive because of the size. And now the Phantom 4 Pro that came out recently adds the obstacle avoidance on all four sides, which is nice. And it also adds a one inch CCD. And for, you, for those of you who don't know what a CCD is, it's a charge coupling device in the camera itself. The bigger the sensor size, the better the quality of the image, just in general. And so coming from a, a two thirds inch sensor, which is a little bit over a, a half inch, it almost doubles the picture quality a little bit. And the quality of the sensor, I believe is, well, I mean, the quality of the sensor is better. And I'm pretty sure DJI is still sticking with the Sony sensor, if I'm not mistaken. But I really 
like where this is actually going now. I understand it more because I've had a you know a, a big drone that comes in a big styrofoam box has a big controller and you know taking it everywhere it's just a pain and it makes me not want to use it and I would very highly recommend looking at a Mavic if you're starting out because it's easy to use just like the Phantom 4 was and it's much more portable in size so you're gonna want to use it more and as a last <laughs> as a last note I just want to talk about customer experience real quick because DJI is not known for their customer experience and I sort of want to calm some fears and also reinforce them a little bit too I'm, I'm sorry um, but, uh, talking to their customer service is a, is a pain their communication is slow at times sometimes it can be really fast sometimes they can be like you know two three days and you don't hear from them and Overall, I just it, it's it's wishy-washy and it's kind of like here and there. So there's good experiences and there's bad ones, but overall as a whole, their, their products become more refined over the years. And up until now, there aren't as many issues as they previously had in the past, which makes buying a product from them a much more enjoyable experience because you don't have to worry about these issues of your product breaking down and falling apart and having to contact you know the company DJI for a warranty claim all the time. And so that pretty much wraps up my little story here. I know it's longer than five minutes, but you know, I, I sometimes I can't help it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to create your own dreams. I'll see you guys in the next one.